You used to ride skateboards with Lil John. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tell, me, tell me about riding skateboards with Lil John. Man, I told you so when when I was five years old, my mama told me, she said, everybody got a talent. Okay. So I've been reaching in that bag. <laughs> trying to pull it out. Now I Tony Hawking. I'm Tony Hawking. So I started probably riding skateboards in the third grade. So I'm a prep on I'm a prep on skateboard. At one point in my life, I was a prep skateboard dope selling teenager. I would ride my skateboard with all the polo through the projects and I'd get off my bum. Mm. And I was about 14. I was real like preppy, cool. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you, okay, so how's Lil John? Lil John had the first club in Atlanta. Yes. So I had to be like, I had to be like 12 years old. Like Lil John older than me. And so I, I I was so young, I used to ride in Lil John hatchback. LeJohn had like a <clears throat> 83 Toyota Corolla hatchback, <laughs> the silver one, and the hatchback yeah. come down. I know because my mama had the same car, right? And LeJohn people had money. Okay. Oh, LeJohn come from money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, LeJohn come from money. So LeJohn was a DJ. Well, first, we were skateboarders. He worked at Skate Escape. And, you know, uh, I was really young. Yeah. And so I used to get my skateboard every Saturday morning and go downtown Atlanta by Piedmont Park to skate escape to the skate shop. Mm-hmm. Lil John to work there, all the skaters be out, and I'd hang out with the older guys that teach me how to skate. Because mm-hmm. I ain't I ain't have to come home. Yeah. I was like one of the water boys, so <laughs> <laughs> I did whatever I wanted to do. Right. And so um then we go all over town and that was my way of getting out the street. You know what I'm saying? At the age. And so I go down there with my skateboard, I get in the back, uh and Lil John, they be like, they used to call me little man. They be okay. like, y'all gonna leave little man? I be like, y'all can't leave me. And I get in the hatchback with the skateboards and we'll ride all over town and ride on ramps, uh, right 30 foot ramps, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We go to uh like skate park, like there wasn't no skate park. We used to go to the Southern Bell building. It was like big old downtown by North Avenue Station. They got like these rails and we slide down the rails, you know what I'm saying? We did y'all we did it. Oh, 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 y'all, y'all was oh, Tony Hawk. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, y'all yeah. was Tony Hawk. Yeah. Yes, we were X game. Like yeah. it, it wasn't no joke, you know. So Lil Lil John, the young Lil John was a skateboarder kid. Yes, and then he became a DJ. Mm. Lil John had the first, it was underground. It was called Underground Atlanta. It's called Underground something, but it was a house club. That's when I first found out about house. I only knew about booty shake. Mm-hmm. I only knew booty shake. And Lil John, they like, y'all come to the uh, house. Come come to this little spot. And it's it's ironically, it's the same building where King Von got killed at. Wow. So that same setup right there mm-hmm. is is upstairs. And you go you go up this hallway and they had nothing in there but a refrigerator and it, and neon. And it it be packed. I'm talking about everybody been there. You won't break my soul. Doing house music. Wow. And uh, he had the first club in Atlanta, Lil John did. Then he got on the radio. Yeah. And um, I always stuck with Lil John. And I, Lil John put me in my first music video. Wow. Put Your Hood Up. Wow. That was the first music video I did. Put Your Hood Up. I stayed out there for two days to get one shot being the high kid. <laughs> he always seemed like he was the guy in the hood that had the, uh, he had a plan. Yes. Yes, he come from good stuff. Yeah, he say like, Lil John seem like the guy, you know, out of all the kids in the hood, is one of them kids that just got a plan. Yes, he, he's, very, <laughs> he, yeah, he, he's, he's very smart. Um, him, Rob, mm. him, it was him, uh, Rob, Robert McDowell, he was ride skateboard with us okay. too. And they was part of uh, BME, uh, BM, yeah, yeah, BME, BME click, yep. and um, Vince, Vince Phillips, the attorney. And so they, wow. they, yeah. So they, oh, they had a team, an Emperor Cersei, yeah. And they, yeah, they, this was strategic. Hmm. You know, this was strategic. LeJohn had been a, a DJ on the radio. He had a hype, hype his radio show, and he just, man, he just transcended. And he had the East Side Boys and turned up with the Crunk Arrow. That's when I came in. Yes, sir. I came in with the Crunk Arrow with LeJohn and them, and shoot, boy, LeJohn got that deal, and. And left the East Side Boys in the cater and went to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah! I went to Lil John's house in Hollywood. Boy, yeah. he had a house and a mansion in the Hollywood Hills. Shout out to was like, yeah, what? Having it. What? This, this, this 15 years ago. Wow. This is 06. This is when I went to Wild and Out. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. A little John, he touring, but a little John, EK, you what they call that stuff? He, oh, you doing it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He performed when he DJ. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 yeah, he yeah. finds his own lane. Yeah, he, he, he can do it by himself. Sometimes you gotta find your own lane to get out there by yourself. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? I, I really God keep me in my own lane. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, sometimes you roll better like that. You 